Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. So you guys, today I want to talk to you guys about a highly requested tutorial. A lot of you guys have told me that you are starting your YouTube channel and you want to know how to use CapCut. Well, today I'm finally going to show you guys how I use CapCut Pro to help me edit my YouTube videos and to increase my engagement on my channel. But before we get into the tutorial, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of what CapCut is. CapCut is this little app here that I'm sure you've seen myself and tons of other different content creators utilize to improve their video quality on whatever social media platform they are posting on. But today specifically, that's what we're going to be talking about. CapCut does have a free and a pro version. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the pro version. By upgrading the CapCut Pro, you basically gain access to a wide collection of advanced features, which include textiles, fonts, transitions, video editing, body editing, and a lot of nice filters to spice up your video. There is so many different benefits to using CapCut Pro, such as all of the different video effects that you are allowed to use, the filters, the text, the stickers, the animations, and much more. Make sure that you guys check the link down below in my description box to try out CapCut Pro. CapCut Pro allows you to enhance your creativity and just get overall more creative. A lot of the features allow you so much more freedom with your content creation that your creativity is limitless. Plus, you can enjoy 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. That way you can keep all of your ideas in one space and can easily transport them from one device to the other. So now I'm going to jump into my computer and show you guys some of the advanced features and tools and different things that you can utilize CapCut Pro to do. Oh, so first thing that so many of you guys ask, how can I start my YouTube channel my using just my iPhone? Nah, this is the video camera. Is that absolutely necessary? Something really cool so, I want to talk to you guys talk today about I am using cap cup right Pro's now to filters and different so features so let's go up to edit. we're going to go up to filters they have a lot of different filters that you can use for the free version but cap cup pro typically has the more advanced features and filters that will really 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 make your videos shine so what i like to do is scroll down and you can see you can just click here drag your filter down into your timeline and that way you can see what it looks like or once you hover over or when you hover over it, CapCut will automatically give you a preview of the filter. So the filter that I most likely am to use is I really, really like this Mall Dives filter, I believe. It's a little powerful, so if you don't want it too saturated, you can always adjust the strength and change how powerful the filter looks on your video. So I'll just bring that down a little bit. But if you scroll down, like I said, you can see how many different filters CapCut Pro offers. Guys, they go on and on and on. So whatever look you're going for for your video, I'm pretty sure you can find a filter to match that aesthetic. Next, let's click over to our transitions tab. If you look here, like I just said, you have so many different options for transition. A lot of the free versions you can utilize. You have the blink, you can slide left, you can flip, but we can get really, really fancy if you click into the pro tab. In the pro tab, it'll show you all the more advanced transitions to, to really make your videos look more dynamic. Sometimes when we get video, people really, really like to watch a very fun video. So I really like that CapCut Pro offers so many different pro transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and split this clip right here, just hitting Command B, and then I'll slide this drop down into the timeline and we'll see what that looks like. But you can play around with these all day long. They have a melting warp, a 3D shuffle, dissolve. You can blur around. Let's see what this one looks like. You see what I mean? There's just so many different things that you can do with CapCut Pro. So another thing I want to show you guys is the stickers. CapCut Pro offers so many stickers. I mean, if you just scroll down, you can see how many different filter options you have. If you don't want to go through an external source and bring in different animations and things like that, this is what I love about CapCut Pro is how many different options you have. So say, for example, we want to use a mouse click or like a finger clicking something. We have that option, drag it down into your timeline and you can scale it. Say we wanted to get a subscribe button. Most other subscribe buttons are available on the free version, so that's really, really nice. Now I'm going to put that subscribe button right over here. And now it'll appear as if, if I go over to animation, we can make it by left and then on the out, zoom out. So let's just see what that looks like. Nice. So those are some of the different sticker options that you have. But like I said, you guys, you can really just scroll and you can use the search for stickers bar to type in whatever kind of sticker or pitch that you're looking for and you can find them. Some of them are, some of them move. So if you look at this one right here, like this is a text bubble that pops up and it's actually moving. So now that we've briefly gone through some of the different features and things like that, let's look at some of the tools that CapCut Pro got because this is what's really interesting to me. 
So let's go here. Sometimes if you're doing a talking video like the video that I'm recording right now, a lot of the times I'm speaking and I might ramble or I might so say what the you wrong would do words is twice or repeat right myself here. a couple of times. So with this adding. new so you CapCut cut feature, button. you're actually able to Cap remove is going to automatically fill analyze words. all the words you guys that you use in your that. video. This is one of my favorite things to allow you to look so. over your text and edit it. So here you can see they've already drafted up everything that I said. And so since many of you guys asked how I start my YouTube channel using just my iPhone. And see, some things you might have to edit because it says iPhone 9 and I said iPhone 9. So I'm going to change that. Click update the transcript. Then you can go and click this button over here that says remove the filler words. It says two pauses, two hesitation, or zero hesitations and zero repetitions. So zero repetitions. So you can delete the filler words. All right, let me go back. So this happens to be one of my favorite features with CapCut Pro. When you're doing talking videos like I am, I, I often, like I said, I will stumble. I'll say um, I'll have dramatic pauses and it would take me hours to go through and cut all of those things out. Well, with CapCut Pro, y'all, it literally takes five seconds. So your basic talking throughout the video, the first initial edit can be done with just a few minutes. I love that. It saves a lot of time with your editing process. So now that I just showed you guys how to do your quick rough edit, I also want to talk to you guys really quickly about a lot of the templates that CapCut Pro offers. They have hundreds of templates that you can use to make your video editing really smooth. And if you're not feeling like taking a long time by doing text, slides, text animations, different transitions and things like that, this is what you will utilize. So right here we can go to the templates tab. They have a for you tab and they have their most popular templates. If you scroll down, like I said, you'll just see a lot of different template options. Let's go to vlog because say I was editing a YouTube vlog and you want to make a YouTube short or a TikTok, here's what y'all would need. So we can actually drag this into drag this into the timeline. And this is a template that has six clips and it's a mini vlog. So basically what you would do is click into the clip by double clicking and you will have to replace each and every last one of these clips with your own footage and it would import them into the video and that's pretty much it. I don't actually have six pieces of footage that I'm going to use right now, but I just want to show you guys that if you wanted to make quick templates of anything that you're doing whether it's a mini vlog if you want to quickly edit your YouTube video and transition it into a YouTube short that's one way that you can do that another really cool thing about CapCut Pro you guys is so many different AI features that they have something else that I want to show you guys is how you can actually edit the way that your skin looks or the way that you look and appear in your video so if you click into the timeline and you go over to the adjustment tab you can click this auto adjust button and CapCut will generate your new adjustments on their own and then you also can do a color match which I feel like is really helpful if you're trying to match the color of your skin to the lighting in the room or maybe the background I'm gonna click those off but something else that we have is if you wanted to use different animations they have so many different animations that you can use with CapCut Pro so there's one more thing that I want to show you guys before we end this video since this is not an in-depth tutorial if you guys do want an in-depth tutorial make sure that you comment down below and let me know you want to see how I edit step by step if you click into your frame and go to the audio tab on the right hand side you're going to click audio we have the capability to make the audio of your video sound like it's professional studio quality audio all you need to do is to click this enhance voice video all you have to do is click enhance voice and you're able to minimize whether or not you want it to be super intense or less intense and we're going to play that so I can show you guys exactly what that sounds like when my voice is enhanced on this video and so since so many of you guys ask, how can I start my YouTube channel using just my iPhone? Now, do I need a camera? Is that Apple? And so since so many of you guys ask, how can I start my YouTube channel using just my iPhone? Do I need a camera? Is that absolutely necessary? How can I start my YouTube channel using just my iPhone? Do I need a camera? Is that Okay, so that's what it sounds like. It actually sounds like I'm speaking more so into a microphone as opposed to talking directly to my camera. So I really like that. One thing I really love, especially if you're doing YouTube Shorts or TikToks, is this AI movement button. So once you click this button, you can make your video look really, really dynamic. So let's click this dynamic one and see what happens. So here's what that video looks like when there is a dynamic AI feature applied. And so since so many of you guys asked, how can I start my YouTube channel using just my iPhone? Do I need a camera? 
the shaky dynamic motion to the camera so if you're doing a video that calls for different features like that I definitely recommend using that feature within CapCut Pro. So to recap CapCut Pro has more features, materials, and templates, 1 million plus paid templates and drafts to unlock, 18 different categories of material rights, and 2,000 plus paid material. You can utilize 100 gigabytes of cloud space which is actually a lot of space you guys. That's a ton of space for storing all your footage. There's no advertising and they really have an excellent customer service option if you need that. CapCut Pro is only $9.99 a month you guys. That's literally $10 a month for all of these different features and tools that you can use to enhance your YouTube quality and make sure that your channel is actually performing really really well that you get those thousand subscribers and that you are monetized and when you are monetized that your videos are clicked on and watched one thing about a viewer we love to watch a video that is interesting to watch and it has been edited people love to watch videos that are very professional in quality that have good sound that have really good editing and that make you want to continue watching past the first 10 seconds that is why I recommend using CapCut Pro all the information that you guys need is going to be down below in my description box. I want to say thank you so much to CapCut for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys have any questions or would like to see a full dedicated tutorial where I go through and show you how I personally edit for my YouTube channel, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know that you're interested. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Peace.